What's going on? What's going on, YGM team? It's your man, Jerry, once again. I just want to thank everybody uh, that's a part of the movement. And I want to thank everybody that's helping us piece together this massive empire that is, I mean, I, y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't understand. We're still in the beginning stages. Y'all are going to be like, man, I remember being in that group when it was just 100 people. When it was just 200 people. You know, now we're across 300 people. And it, it's going to be incredible when we get to the thousands of members in just this group alone, not even mentioning how many other lives that we're going to be able to affect, even off screen, even, you know, offline in the neighborhoods and the communities and be able to en- enhance the credit scores, enhance the finances, reduce the debts, reduce the taxes of all the people. You know, YGM, we believe that financial freedom is a mindset. It all starts with the mindset. So I titled this right here. If you want to watch this, if you want to be wildly successful, and again, happy September to everybody that is tuning in. Um, go ahead and uh, show some love if you're watching this. Just like, share. Well, you can't really share because it's a private feed. But comment. Tell me how you're feeling. Tell me what kind of uh, keys to success that you'd like to see in the group. Um, what kind of uh, uh, topics that you'd like to expand on. Well, let's get right into the topic, man. Um, I was watching so I was reading up on some statistics. <clears throat> because we are also involved in network marketing and I was reading up on some statistics and it's, it's really amazing as far as, you know, a lot of people say 99% of people that get involved with MLM don't make a single dollar. And then I'm looking on the other side of that and I'm, and I'm seeing that the average person made at least $5,000 in sales in network marketing in the United States uh, alone just last year. And then, you know, on the top end of that, you have multimillionaires. And then on the bottom end of that, you have people that are just barely making enough to pay their subscription. And, of course, you got people that don't make any money at all. So what's the difference? Like, what, like what, what differentiates somebody that just gets started and somebody that is a top performer? You know, I'm going to give you two things. And this is what these two things is what you need to be wildly successful, not just in business, but also in life. The first thing you need is consistency. You have to have consistency, especially in business, because people need to see you. They need to hear you at least seven times to even remember you. They need to see you seven times to even hear and let that message that you have penetrate their cranium (laughs) and into their lifestyle. They need to see you at least seven times. Now, if you just talk to somebody one time and you fall off the face of the planet, you're not ever going to get to your seventh person. You know, and in in case of follow up and consistency with the follow up, you're never going to close nobody on your first sale. Rarely ever happens. The second uh, time you interact with them, you're not, chances are you're not going to close them. 40% of sales happen on the third follow-up and above. Okay, so you're three minutes into this right here. I hope you already got some value. You want to at least follow somebody three times to close half of your sales. I mean, for 40% of your sales, you know? And, um, and the second thing that you're going to need is belief. You have to believe in what you're doing because I guarantee you that if you don't have belief, that's why we say that freedom is a mindset. If you don't have the belief or the dream or the goal to get started, then you won't have a roadmap. You won't have a, a, you won't have any substance in what you're doing. And when times get rough, when someone says you'll never be able to do that, someone says what you're doing is foolish. You'll never succeed in that. Why are you even doing, why even bother with that? You're not smart enough to do that. When someone says something like that, it will take your belief level down. And if you didn't start with a very high belief level to begin with, then you out of the game already, off gate. Okay, so you got to have consistency and you got to have belief level. And I guarantee those people that are top earners in network marketing, they have very high belief level. Can't nobody tell them no. And the people at the bottom, they're either just getting started or they haven't told themselves that they're worthy enough of the, uh, to be wildly successful. See, a lot of people have a lot of, uh, lot, a lot of work ethic. They want to do a lot of things in their life. They want to make a lot of money. But not a lot of people are willing to do the things that are required of them to do that. That's why we have jobs. And I'm thankful for jobs because if it wasn't for jobs, a lot of people just wouldn't, I mean, be productive at all. If you didn't have a set time to wake up, a set time to go in and uh, and clock in, 
uh, in a set time to pick up your paycheck, I mean, nothing would ever get done because very few people have the mindset of an entrepreneur. Very few people have the mindset that says, you need to do this and be your own self-starter, be self-motivated, wake up in the morning, call the people that you know that you need to call to be successful. You know, reach out to some new people that, you know, you're not tied to a time clock. You're not going to get fired, okay, in network marketing. You're not going to get fired. So that means that everything that you're being held accountable is on you. You are the only person accountable for yourself. And a lot of times, man, we if we ain't got nobody holding us accountable, we ain't going to do it. You know, just think about it, like going to the gym, uh, following the right diet, um, you know, even doing certain tasks, like like even homework if you're in school. Like if nobody was to say, let me check your homework. Let me check to see if you actually been to the gym. Let me check, make sure that you're eating what you're, what you're supposed to and not eating what you're, you're not supposed to be eating. If you didn't have somebody there watching over you, most people would just do whatever whatever we want to do. So what we do is we actually hold you accountable for building wealth. You want to build wealth, we hold you accountable to that. You know, that's a good thing. That's a good goal. And I know that, you know, life isn't all about money. You know, but life is definitely not about being impoverished, you know, and, and it's not about being uh, being hungry. It's not about waking up in the middle of the night because you can't sleep because you're worried about bills. You know, that's not life either. You know, life isn't worrying about the landlord knocking on the door. Hey, rent still due. You know, it's not looking out the side, of your, looking out your window every time you hear uh, you know, a loud truck because you're afraid that your, your car is getting repo. That's not life either. So you have to understand, like, you have to do things to get to places where you're not. And you have to do things that you're not doing to get there. Okay. And it's not going to, it's not to change who you are as a person. It's just to change your mindset as a person. You know, everybody is supposed to be unique. Everybody has their own skill set and things like that. So I don't want to change who you are I don't want to change the things that you believe in and things like that. I just want you to believe more of yourself. I want you to, to actually go higher in yourself and just say, you know what? I am worth that. You know, I am not worth having to be on the side of the road with the, with the car that's continuously breaking down. You know, I'm not worth having to beg my friends and family for, for money just so I can take care of my family. I'm not worth that. You know, people should be begging me. People should be coming to me and saying, hey, you know, can I can I borrow you know, hundred dollars? Can I borrow a thousand dollars? Can I do you have 10, 10 grand that you want to invest in my business idea? People should be coming to to me to say that. That's what you have to believe. But if you don't think that you're that person, if you don't think you're worthy of being that person, then you'll never get there. And guess what? Belief is going to help with your consistency too. Because if you really believe in what you're doing, you ain't going to give up. And you're going to be consistent. People are going to see you. People are going to remember you. And, uh, and and they'll definitely follow in line. They'll follow you. So two people that I want to talk about, uh, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, two people I want to talk about. One is, uh, his name is Dexter Yeager. He's actually, well, I think he's from New York, but he was living in Charlotte when he built his empire. Him and his wife started a business in the 60s. It was a network marketing company in the 60s. And he's become the world's number one income earner, period. That's oh, just about 400 miles from me. This man became the world's number one income earner. He earned half a billion dollars in network marketing. Half a billion with a B, $500 million, y'all. Think about that. Not even one million, not two, two million, you know, not even a hundred million, not even 200 million but $500 million just in network marketing. Now, I want you to think about this. How can you do that working a job? All I'm saying is a lot of people have one source of income and then they think that trying something like network marketing is either too hard or it's not worth it or no one's successful. Here you have somebody that does that just he actually just died this year. He was like 80 or something like that. He died this year in January. And he earned half a billion dollars in network marketing. It's just fantastic. 
And one of the people that he studied was Earl Nightingale. So one of the quotes that he always liked to say is that success is the progressive realization of a worthy dream. And uh, Earl, Nightingale would, Earl Nightingale would have said of a worthy goal or a worthy cause. And that's exactly what success is, is the track that you're on, that you're every day you're like, man, okay, that got a little bit more successful. Okay, that actually worked. Okay, a little, one more piece fell into place. Okay, this right here looks really good. I'm glad that I did that. I'm thanking myself for stuff that I did last year. I'm thanking myself for things that I did yesterday and last month. And you're starting to realize that, you know, you can actually do the things that are in your mind and in your dreams to do. But it has to be worthwhile. It has to be worthwhile. Because if it's not worthwhile, then you're wasting your time. And my only fear is that a lot of people are mastering things that are not worthwhile. You know, so if you do work a job, what is your title? Like, what are, I mean, what are your duties at that job? Is it just to flip a sandwich? Because you're mastering an ability to, to make a certain kind of food item. Or are you actually leading people and managing people? Because now you're actually conducting yourself in a way where you, can, you have a skill that you can use and transfer it to another job or another opportunity. So are you mastering something that you can use to change your life eventually? And the answer is no, you gotta do something different or move up in the company because you cannot waste your time mastering things that are not worthwhile. And when you go and you join a network marketing company like what we have, you know, you're actually learning skills that are transferring or transferable even back into your job to help you be a more successful leader at your job. You're learning skills to build your own business and take your own success to the next level. You're learning uh, marketing, you're learning branding. Those are two different things. You're learning uh, customer service. You're learning different systems to manage customer, uh, your, your customer, customer relationship management tools. You know, you're learning success secrets from people that are already where you want to be in terms of success. And you can't get that any other way. You know, that's my main thing is a lot of the stuff, man, you just can't get it any other way. So how else do you expect to get it? You can't. So the second person that I want to talk about is Madam C.J. Walker. So Madam C.J. Walker from the history books, you might know her as the first African-American female millionaire who never inherited her wealth or married into it. You know, she just got it from the jump, you know, <laughs> Madam C.J. Walker. But what people don't tell you, you know, they, they will tell you that she started a very successful health and beauty business, uh, health care, pro uh, hair care products and things like that. But what they won't tell you is that she relied on a network marketing sales and um, marketing channel to market her products and distribute her products. See, now we're marketing is really just, it's two things. It's distribution and it's marketing, okay? So it combines those two things and it gives you a distribution channel where you can get a product out to a lot of people and it gives you a marketing channel where you can actually market directly, very intimately to a very, uh, a very broad scope of people without having to actually talk to them and uh, talk to them directly. So it gives you those two things. She realized this at a very young, this was in the uh, 19, well, early 1900s is when her business started. I wanna say it was like 1890 as a matter of fact. So you got somebody over a hundred years ago pioneering what we know today is network marketing. This is where all the Mary Kays and the Avons come, come in. And I mean, you're talking about billion dollar companies, multi-billion dollar companies, not millions. Okay, it's a, it's a light year difference between millions and billions, okay? So I want y'all to understand that. It is not the same ballpark. You talk about a billion seconds, you're talking about 30 years. You're talking about a million seconds, you're talking about 17 days or something like that, something crazy like that. Um, but it's, they're, they're light years different from people. Uh, so I just want y'all to understand that, you know, and... So Madam C.J. Walker, she was able to become a multimillionaire using the principles of network marketing that we use today. And not only was she able to die worth over $10 million at a, at a time when milk was like 60 cents a gallon, but she was able to help other people become wealthy as well. And I'm talking about a, a, in a time where uh, African-Americans were making you know, far less than the minimum wage. She had people earning more money than middle-class families. And 
a lot of those people are still benefiting today from the work that she did a hundred years ago and the work that their grandparents did and great grandparents did a hundred years ago. And so then I ask you, like, what can you do to help your future generations? You know, what can you do to amass great wealth in your lifetime with the skill set that you have now and with that time that you have remaining as well? There's not many things that you can do besides network marketing. And besides that, you have a recession coming. You have a recession coming. So I'm not trying to play chicken little and tell you that the sky's falling and anything like that. You can look in the news. They'll tell you every day. Uh, market analysts and economists are telling you that this, you know, literally the sky is falling. You know, it's a, heading for a recession. The rich are spending less. Home prices in, in, uh, are dropping. Uh, home prices are slowing down. The stock market is slowing down. These are things that happen right before recessions hit. And uh, then we have a hurricane coming as well. Hurricane Dorian's coming up the East Coast. And so you're, you're dealing with inflation. Uh, prices are going up. You're dealing with people that are having to evacuate their homes, people that are having to start preparing. People are going to be without their job because some people can't work because their jobs are going to be closed. So you're dealing with all of these things. And then you have to ask yourself, what is the answer? You know, what can I do to prepare myself? And what can I do to accelerate my current status? And the only thing that you can do, the only thing you can do is start a business. Now, you can pay the average person spends over $10,000 to start a business. I think it's about $60,000 to $80,000 to start a business. And you can, you know, you, there's a 40% chance you're going to fail in the first year. Okay. So just not saying that you won't get it, but those are the odds, you know, because it, it takes a lot to keep your doors open. It takes more than belief to keep your doors open in that case. Okay. You got real bills. You got real people that can come take your stuff. Okay. And network marketing, all you got to do is maintain your auto ship. It's $50 a month for the company that we have until you find three teammates. Once you have three teammates, then they actually, the volume that's generated from, from them actually pays your auto ship for you. So you don't have to keep paying that $50. But you also, on top of maintaining that, you just have to keep your belief level. You know, so, you know, I've known people that's been in network marketing for years, never made a dime. They come with us and they start making hundreds, hundreds of dollars weekly right off the bat because we have this simple system. That's the you got money team system. We got it, you know, but I just want to challenge y'all. Raise your belief level. If you want to be wildly successful, add somebody to this group and let them watch this video and let them think about it. Like, hmm, that guy, he might be, might be crazy, he might look crazy, but he makes a lot of sense. And then they'll come asking you, what is this network marketing company that I can get a part of? How much does it cost? How can I get started? What do I need to do? Because I need to secure the bag. I need to secure my finances, my family's future. I don't want to be affected by uh, the economy. I don't want to be affected by new policies, new laws that come out. I don't want to be affected by taxes. I want to affect my economy around me instead of the economy affecting me. Only way you can do that is to have a business. So we watch the video, watch it a few times. You know, I know I go on and on, but I guarantee you, you play this, you know, while you're getting ready, you, get, you play this while you're on the way to work, it's going to motivate you. It's going to help you get to that next level. What's up, JP? You know, it's going to help you understand, like, look, I don't have to depend on one stream of income, you know, and I don't have to actually make more money to kill off my debt. You know, just look at this YGM system that we have. We'll show you exactly how to do that. And then you can use that compound your savings and now you're starting to earn compound interest but it all started from having a business but that's my time y'all i'm out of here oh what's up jeffrey what's up daniel what's up toya thanks y'all for uh checking in but definitely rewatch this it's some golden nuggets that's been dropped in this video remember you can do it you've got money but you can believe you absolutely can achieve peace out